Hi guys, welcome to the Power DSP lesson. The last lesson we have seen how the DFT equation works to bring the frequency information details out that present in the time domain signal. We start off today lesson with an example and see how the DFT works on this example. This is our example. We have taken 8 samples from an unknown analog composite signal which was sampled with a sampling frequency of 8 kHz. We need to find the frequency components and its amplitudes present in the signal. We are doing discrete Fourier transform to explore the frequency details present in the signal. Input is having 8 samples and the output of the DFT is also 8 samples. Each index of the output represents a frequency value and index k runs from 0 to n minus 1. N is the number of points, here it is 8, so k runs from 0 to 7. Each index corresponds to the frequency k into fs divided by n. When k is equal to 0, frequency is 0. When k is equal to 1, frequency is 1 kilohertz and so forth. Let's take the first case that is index k is equal to 0 which is equal to the frequency component of 0 hertz that is DC component. In this graph, the input signal and its 8 samples are shown. 0 hertz cosine wave is shown in the upper diagram and 0 hertz sine wave is shown in the below diagram. We have to correlate the 0 hertz sine wave and cosine to the input signal to find out any DC component is present in the input. For this, we have to do point for point multiplication between the input samples and the cosine samples, then sum it to form the real part. Similarly, summation of the point for point multiplication between the input samples and the sign samples has to be done to form the imaginary part. We got zero. So there is no DC component present in the input signal. Let's take the next case when k is equal to 1, which corresponds to the frequency component 1 kilohertz. Here we are multiplying. That means correlating the 8 samples from the 1 kilohertz cosine and sine wave with the input samples. We can see here there is strong correlation between the input signal and the 1 kilohertz sine wave. So we got the value of 4 in the output. We can tell now 1 kilohertz sinusoid is present in the input signal. Let's move to the next case. Here we are correlating the 2 kilohertz sinusoid with the input signal. The output that we get here is 0. So there isn't 2 kilohertz sinusoid in the input signal. In this case, we are comparing the 3 kilohertz sinusoid with the input signal. We got some magnitude here. So we can tell 3 kilohertz sinusoid is present in the input signal. Similarly, we can see for the remaining cases. This is for 4 kilohertz. This is for 5 kilohertz. This is for 6 kilohertz. This is for 7 kilohertz. Let's see the summary now. We have started with 0 hertz, then 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, and finally 7 kilohertz. These are the outputs we got for the input samples after feeding it to the Fourier transform. These samples are taken at the sampling frequency of 8 kHz from the composite signal X of N which contains 1 kHz and 3 kHz frequency components. The individual 1 kHz and 3 kHz along with the addition of these two are given in this diagram. Now we can easily compare the output result with the input. Our input contains 1 kHz and 3 kHz. We can see that in the output. Next, recall the sampling theorem which says that sampling frequency should be at least twice the maximum frequency component present in the signal. So, if we know the sampling frequency, we can tell that maximum frequency component that we can represent in the spectrum is Fs by 2. In this example, Fs by 2 is 4 kHz. So, up to 4 kHz, the data is valid above which is nothing but the negative frequency components. Moreover, we can see the amplitudes that are amplified by 4 times. 1 kHz sine wave amplitude is 1, 
but in the output it is 4. Similarly, 3 kilohertz sine wave amplitude 0.25 is equal to 1 in the output. Why it is amplified 4 times? Also, we need to know what is the significance of this phase angle. Let's see these things in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.